Hey guys, we are here today to install these ECS tuning adjustable coilovers on my Mark 6 GTI. We've got my friend Cam here and this beautiful garage. Cam, any words? Nothing much, just ready to get the car done, you know, get it lowered and set and looking right. I'm paying him in friendship time, so he's probably not too thrilled about being here right now. <laughs> no, it's fine. We finally have the coilovers. I am beyond excited to get these things done. I mean, that car is too high off the ground, but we're changing that. Yeah, monster so truck. It, a monster truck it really is though but we're changing that because we got these bad boys so let's get to it how do we know this car is too high well if you take a look here the gap in between the tire and the top of the fender is entirely too high it really is though yeah we have something that we like to do called a shoe test which shows the shoe test yeah it pretty much tells you your car is too high and you need more low how does that work well simply you just take your shoe off put it in between here if it fits it's too high. If it doesn't... Why don't you take your shoe off and show us? Okay. Oh gosh, he took mine. You see that? There's still room. Entirely too high. We're changing that. We're changing that. And it's gonna look good. Huge thank you to Cam for having access to this lift. I couldn't imagine doing all this work with just a jack and some fans. Although, quite quickly, we ran into an issue with the first bolt we needed to take off. This is not a 24. All right, Cam, what just happened? Uh, what just happened is we spent the past three hours trying to find the correct socket we needed for this here axle bolt. Turns out when they say 24 millimeter, it's not a... Uh, a six point or 12 point, it's only 12 point. Found that one out the hard way. But we're making progress now. I yes, hope. Yes, sir. Nice new adjustable front sway bar end links from ECS so we can get rid of those old cruddy boys for these nice shiny red ones. Good work, Cam. You're doing it all. <laughs> Our own incompetence aside, we finally were making progress. This amount of suspension upheaval really intimidated me, but that was before doing this install. Watching how easy it is to remove so many bits has really shot my confidence up for future installs. Who knows, maybe an engine swap is next. Here, let it down. What are we on? This cover here needs to come off, so move this. You're taking my car apart, no. Set this to the side. Hey, those weren't very tight. I got it. Yeah, once you break it, it should yeah come across easy. Hannah swung by to deliver lunch to Cam and I, and she chose the perfect time to do so. All right, ta-da! Hannah, look, it's out. Everything went back with a lot less fanfare than on removal. Doesn't bother me a bit. Awesome to see this part of the build come together relatively smoothly. We swapped sides to the driver's side and armed with the right tools and knowledge, swapped out the old components for the shiny new ECS ones. All right, Cam, we just did the fronts. We did just do the front. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle, we're gonna head pull this tire off. So there's actually a difference between the front coilovers and the rear coil and shock set up in the rear. It is separate versus on top of each other. So we're gonna have to pull the sh actual shock out first 
then we'll have to lower the spring down carefully or else, you know, when you lose tension on a spring that's got a bunch of load on it, it likes to explode. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start on this. So here we go. Let's get her done. Here we go. But before I do that, let's remove <laughs> that. Safety first, kids. Yeah, spring comes out first. What size need? I think 18. Oh yeah. So, there's actually a nut on the back. Where is it? Hold it like that. Wanna gently lower the spring so it does not come flying. Ta-da! Voila. Look at that difference. That's crazy. Will it actually go to stock height though? Let's take a look. Let's see, it, it, I think it's at least a lowering of an inch and a quarter. And that is kind of dangerous, having that that high. But... Yeah, that's not gonna fly, but you know what? That's as close as you can get, it looks like. You'll find out later, but we definitely didn't leave those springs that high. And scored a touchdown. And he missed. Dropped it. You know, Cam, it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel feelings. Oh, no. <laughs> I got it. Ta-da! Look at the little pillow head. I think we're replacing. We're yeah, we're replacing all this. It's nice. Yeah, well, I don't think it goes in like that. Yeah. Is there no? Is there no bushing? There's got to be a bushing in between that. Am I missing something? Unless it goes on like this. How does that one go on? Where's the other one? It's over here. It goes on the other way. So it goes on like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spread them. Spread, spread them up. No. I'm just, just not for you. No, 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 no. I didn't mean it in that. Just the, the funny. Might, I think it might be easier thing. if I. Might be easier if I got off of this thing and got on the floor. And I'll come over top. <laughs> you're, welcome, you're welcome. Thanks. Good one. This car could really use a very thorough cleaning. I think I know someone. I saw it, I don't. What about the shock bolt? Shock, new shock bolt? Yeah. I'm trying to remember which one I pulled out. I think it was the long one. This long one? No, that was for this. No, it wasn't. Hold on. So what's left is- No, it's the big bolt. The thick, thick boy? Yeah, the with thick the, one. Yeah. With the washer? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna just kind of put that in so to keep it kind of where it needs to be. Is it threading? It's, it's, I mean, it's threading, but 
It's like not, everything's so tight. It's not nice. Yeah. I mean, I can just. Uh, I mean, if it goes in. It went in. It's like the first few were like, eh, then it went in. That's weird. You need help? My gosh, you look. He has three hands now. If only I had four. Yeah, the other one's holding the camera, sorry. We ran into an issue on the install of the upper shock mount. The bolts didn't want to thread nicely, but we got them in, put the spring in place, and then set off to do the other side. Cam had enough of doing all the work, so he left to go feed his dog and set me in charge of the last corner. Jokes on him, I had the old shock and spring out and new ones in in about 15 minutes. I guess I'm a professional mechanic now. Once all four corners were set, we began measuring and adjusting the ride height and preload. ECS suggests 10 millimeters of preload with about a 13 inch measurement from hub to fender. We set the preload, but then just wung the ride height. We were going to adjust after dropping it anyways. Momento of truth. Momentum of truth? Yeah, momentum of truth. Are you ready? I'm ready. Down we go. How low will it go? How low will it go? I think it's a little lower. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> it, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That slammed. <laughs> That's gonna settle down definitely a lot more. Dude, those wheels are flush. That fitting is really good though. For stock wheels, dude? The back is gonna have to definitely get raised. <laughs> Just a little bit, you think? Look at that, it's hilarious. What do you think? I like the front. The front's good. The front's good, let's see. Well, it's a finger, man. Let me just... Yep. It didn't go in, did it? No, it didn't. No, it didn't go in. Let's try it again. Nope. I think it's approved. We just gotta take it out and make sure it's all adjusted. Yeah. We did it. We did. This thing is definitely lower. We'll see how it does. <laughs> you could probably get away with this in the rear. <laughs> I don't think it will rub. You, you never know. Let's go find out. We've got the coilovers completely installed. These things are fantastic. I've got actually exactly 750 miles on these things right now. Still in a bit of that break-in period, but just feel this. Oh my. That is, that's just stupid. These things are fantastic. I've got a full butt dyno video coming out later on them. I mean, I'll just tell you right now, these things are stiff, but smooth. They're fantastic. ECS, you have done a great job with these adjustable coilovers. Keep doing the awesome work you're doing. And if you have a Mark VI or a Mark V, these actually work for Mark V too. So go out and buy them. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, have a great day, and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.